Tucker and today we have another exciting Photoshop tutorial and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to create a stunning HDR effect with Vignette. Now the photo that is appearing on your screen now is what this is going to end up looking like. So we're just going to back go back to our original photo and this is the photo we will be using. It is a very plain and bright image and it has a lot of detail and some good contrast to it. Now this is the perfect type of image that we would want to use for this effect because it is so bright and has detail and contrast. Now the image I'm going to put on the screen now would be a bad example of an image to use this with because it has the dark upper top and it is very undetailed and it is monotone. So don't use these type of images and kind of stay towards these types. So what we're going to do first is unlock our layer and we're just going to rename that tree and now what we want to go is image well, we should select our layer first go to image adjustments shadows and highlights and what we're going to do is we're going to set this any between anywhere between 40 and 50 percent so I'm just going to set that as 47. thing with the highlights, so the shadows and highlights should both be set anywhere between 40 and 50 percent for this to look right. So I'm just going to set this at 47 as well, and that's what we're going to get. So first thing we're going to do is hit Control J, so we have a copy of our tree, and this is we're going to rename that saturated. And now we're just going to hit take and hit Control U to bring up our hue and saturation box. And we're just going to lower the saturation down. And we're going to select our layers and um, blending options. And go over to hard light. And as you can see, that HDR effect is starting to pop up. And we're going to go back to our original image and hit Control J again to duplicate. And we're going to name this Blur. So what we're going to do with the blur layer is go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Now we're going to set this anywhere between 35 and 45 pixels. I'm going to set this at 43.9 and hit OK. And now what we want to do is set our blending mode at soft light. And as you can see, it has changed into the HDR effect we're looking for. And now we're going to add the vignette. So we're just going to select our saturated layer and our rectangular marquee tool. And we're just going to draw a box inside the, uh, the photo so that we get this marching ant effect. Now what we want to do is go to select inverse so it'll select everything around what we're going to do. And we're just going to right click and hit feather. And depending on your image size, you're going to want to do a feather radius. For smaller images around 300 by 300 pixels, I would go with about a 40 or 50 feather. Now this image is at 50%, so I'm going to go with a higher one. So this is probably a 1000 by 1000 pixel. I'm not sure. I did not check. I'm sorry about that. But it is a larger image, so I'm going to use a larger feather radius. And for the larger images, um, you just want to set it at around 90 to 220 for the larger images. For the really big images, I'm going to tell you we're going to have to experiment with that. So anyway, we're just going to OK and create a new layer. And we're just going to right click, fill. And our fill color is going to be black for the vignette. And hit OK. And hit Control D so we can deselect that. And we're just going to take our master opacity slider and slide that down something that looks good. Now, as you can see, we have that vignette effect with the HDR effect. It looks very clean and very nice. So, I'd just like to say again, thanks for watching and more to come. Alright, bye.